गुड इवनिंग सर ओके सर इन मैक्रो या वी हैव लेफ्ट दैट फ्लेक्सिबल एक्सचेंज रेट फिक्स्ड एक्सचेंज रेट एंड स्लगिश प्राइस एडजस्टमेंट दिस थ्री आर लेफ्ट ओनली इन मैक्रो वन flexible exchange rate fixed exchange rate and sluggish price adjustment fixed and flexible exchange rate and uh, sluggish price adjustment fixed exchange rate yes sir and flexible exchange rate how do you define exchange rate uh, exchange rate is that that uh, the exchange of currency uh, in uh, in respect to expand a exchange of currency of uh, old country in respect to other country uh, say for example uh, 1 dollar is equal to 73 rupees that means if i want to get 1 dollar i have to pay uh, 73 rupees to us this is exchange rate when fixed exchange rate started sorry sir when was fixed exchange rate started in the world uh that i don't know sir when fixed fixed exchange rate wiped out in the world no idea sir when flexible exchange rate started in the world no idea no idea in 1945 which institution was established in 1945 Which international institution was established? Uh, uh, second World uh, Second World War, sir. Institution established. I am not talking about war. Okay, sir. I don't uh, don't know, sir. No idea, sir. Number one. I write, sir. Am I going to write? What? Am I going to write, sir? You list. You may listen also. Okay, In just sir. a few, few words. Yes, sir. 1945. Okay. IMF, IBRD was established. Okay. Okay. IMF and ID. IBRD. In 1945, IMF and IBRD were established because of the breakdown of gold standard. Are you writing? Yes, sir. Yes, you may write. because of the breakdown of gold standard yes sir 
IMF, International Monetary Fund. Yes, sir. Granted loan for short term. To whom? Members of the member countries. India was member country. At present, at present, 192 countries, 93 countries are member country of IMF. At that time, also India was uh, one of the members of the uh, one of the members. Yeah, yeah. Attended the meeting. Yes, sir. I have granted loan for short term uh, to members of each. That means the uh, member uh, the. Country who are the members of the IMF. In in dollar or any foreign currency. In dollar or any foreign currency. Okay. Yes. Which 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 currency every country wants to take? Dollar. Dollar. Yes, that is the capital is the, uh, uh, because uh, it is U.S. currency. That's why. U U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar. At that time, in 1945, India and was to be India was to get freedom. Hmm. In, 19, in 1947, India got freedom and became the independent country. Hmm. Hmm. So, At which date India celebrates independence? 15th August. Which one? 15th August. 1947. 7, 15th August. Mm -hmm. That was the day when India became independent country. Yes. Free from the British slavery system. British India converted into independent India. Yes. How to make payment to other country? That was a great problem. Okay. So all countries wanted to have one bank. Common bank. International one one bank which will give dollar and which will pay to the other country payment through the imf okay. india as a member of imf mm -hmm. takes loan in short loan for short term in dollar and pay to the importers to get petrol mm. and many medicine, fertilizer, all payments are done in dollar. What is the dollar stock today in India? No idea, sir. 582. 582 dollars. Billion dollars. 582 billion dollars are uh, in, the, in the hand of uh, Indian government. Yeah. So just a minute. 
Okay, sir. India. has two phases, one before globalization, one after globalization. Yes, that is before 1990 and after 1990. Before 1991? 1991, sir, or 1990. It, 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 was, it, it was started uh, in 1990 and uh, the total uh, process uh, had been completed by 1991. In the middle of 1991. Yes. Globalization has started mm. in July 1991. Okay. So in 1991, mm. January. In 1991, January. Yes. A stock of dollar in India mm -hmm. yes, sir. Was, was one billion dollar. Was one billion dollar, huh. and what is the position today? Five hundred eighty-two billion. Billion, yes, obviously billion. It is just like ocean difference. Yes, isn't it? Yes, sir. Absolutely. This is the success of globalization. Liberalization, privatization. Yes. That the gates, all gates are open for international trade. That is, uh, uh, that, time, uh, that, uh, that time it was said that golden handshake. Yeah. And uh, before that, before that period, there was closed economy. India was a closed economy. India was not a free trade economy. India was a protection, using protection, high tariff, restrictions, regulations that were practiced during the Nehru model, Nehruvian model, followed by Mr. Jindra Gandhi, followed by Rajiv Gandhi, followed by Manmohan Singh. Nearly 70 years. Nearly 70 years it, it followed. Nineteen Fixed exchange rate. One dollar is equal to one rupee. In nineteen forty seven.
This is fixed exchange rate. This is fixed exchange rate from 1947 to 1973. Followed by IMF and member country. Sravni. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was fixed exchange rate, but slight deviation, point one. Point, yes, yes. Plus, minus. Or flexibility also it was allowed that one dollar may be one point one rupee may be one point one zero or it may be point nine zero. But it is a rare case it was a stand it was a stable at one dollar is equal to one rupee after Second World War when India became independent in 1947 exchange rate was one dollar is equal to one rupee. Mm. But USA in 1973 faced, faced the dollar crisis. Okay. USA, USA faced the USA faced dollar crisis. When, sir? Dollar crisis. In 1973? Yeah. So USA said that fixed exchange rate is cancelled. Every country should follow Flexible exchange rate policy. Fixed exchange rate was determined by IMF. Mm -hmm. IMF said that in the USA, the largest donor, largest country, which had decided not to support fixed exchange rate. Every nation should follow flexible exchange rate depending upon demand for dollar and supply of dollar. So in 1973, there was a breakdown of fixed exchange rate system in the world, prompted by USA, supported by IMF. Fixed exchange rate policy was removed. And flexible exchange rate policy was introduced to all members of the USA all members of the IMF. Amen. And USA says that every nation has demand and supply. Sir, so sir, they, USA, USA? Every nation, every nation has demand for and supply of dollars. Yes, yes, sir. If they have more demand, they will pay more. More. If there is less demand, they will pay less. Pay less, yes. So it all depends upon, uh, have you copied uh, Yes, I have copied uh, uh, this diagram. I have copied, sir. And writing? Writing also. Okay. Flexible. Exchange rate, 1973, 2001. This is demand for dollar. This is supply of dollar. 
This is a rate. At present, $85. Dollar. One dollar. One dollar is equal to Sir, today dollar price is 85. Yeah. What we are moving to? 4 and 4, 4 and 4. $1 is 85. Determined by 2021. Demand for dollar and supply of dollar. We are buying many defense aeroplane, defense yes. Yes. material, and so more demand. And it is said that if supply increases, supply increases, and demand also increases. Mm -hmm. Then the rate sir, will remain. Sir, sir, yeah. sir recently, uh, what Indian government uh, uh, have, uh, has purchased that uh, that aircraft, uh, defense aircraft. Uh, then what is the name? I just have, I just uh, have forgotten. Rafael. Yes, Rafael. Yes. So look here, if demand increases and supply increases, rate will be constant. But it should be in the same proportion. Yeah. That is not possible. Yes. Either rise or fall. But if there is if demand for dollar. Supply of dollar increases in the same proportion exchange rate. remains stable. Clear hai? Hmm. Up to this, it is clear. Hmm. Have you drawn? Yes, sir. Look here, this is supply. This is demand. Now supply is constant, but demand increases. Eighty-five rupee will depreciate and it will be 85.50. Appreciation. Price in dollar. One dollar per.
demand has increased. Yes, sir. Supply constant. Supply fixed. Demand increases. There will be exchange depreciation. Exchange depreciation for us. Yeah. We have to pay more. Yes. There will be exchange depreciation. Exchange depreciation if supply is constant, dollar dip, dollar demand increases. What do you think India is weak or strong? Weak, weak, weak. And becoming weak to weaker. In, com in comparison to Pakistan? In comparison to Pakistan, it is strong. In comparison to Myanmar? Maya, it, it is strong. In comparison to Bangladesh, it is strong. Indonesia, Malaysia? Indonesia, Malaysia. Uh, Philippines? Strong, strong, strong. So, if India is strong, the condition is stable. But if there is a weak country, that is called sluggish. Who, who will be weak? Afghanistan? Huh? Taking money and using. So, what I want to communicate to you, that sluggish exchange rate, write down. Yes, sir. Sluggish exchange rate. Sluggish exchange rate. Yes, sir. Is a condition. Yes. Related to weak currency, weak, weak currency. Yes, sir. What is weak currency? A weak, a weak currency means weak currency means. The currency value often fluctuates. You are not sure that how much you will get. There may be fluctuations. Country may get more item or country may get less item due to this fluctuation. Because a currency's value often fluctuates. A weak currency means more or 
you are items may be bought at any given time example a gold coin equal to 100 dollar next day a gold coin equal to 110 dollar same gold coin so dollar is weakening dollar is a weakening currency this example this is sluggish exchange rate this requires sluggish price adjustment is called sluggish exchange rate okay have you written yes sir sir yeah after finishing this i'll uh, tell you something
fluctuations from A to B, B to C, C to B. So like this. Have you drawn? Yes, sir. End of the class. Sir, sir, sir. Sir. Ah. Sir, I, uh, sir, uh, yes, uh, sir, uh, yes, sir, yes, tomorrow, uh, I want to uh, learn market. Market, we we have left totally that pulsar competition, monopoly, price discrimination, monopolistic competition, oligopoly. That entire portion I have left. The total market structure, perfect and imperfect, both. And oh. and, and another thing, sir. So another thing uh, that uh, we have also left that. Pricing theory, that uh, rent theory, uh, supply of labor, demand for labor, that uh, backward bending supply of all these. Okay. But I want to learn first uh, that market structure, total perfect and imperfect. The total, okay. up to oligopoly. You just uh, write it uh, on the uh, on your WhatsApp. Okay, sir. sir. You, will get, you will get it. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, one thing. Sir, a, uh, that, uh, that a new agri bill that India government uh, has placed in front of us uh, to uh, have a written in the article for, uh, for and against on it. I'm not getting what you're saying. Sir, that agri, new agri bill. That is not true. That bill is for Andolan. Are you Andolan Kari? Yes, sir. No, no sir. That's, I want to mean that um, you are uh, with, with that bill or you are against the bill? At present, I will not comment on that. <coughs> Matter is subjudiced <coughs> in the court. Nothing to be said by me. You, you have you have written any article on it you have written any article on that new agri bill you you see in google you will get it okay sir because i um, want your opinion that's why i'm uh, asking i am not going to give you opinion matter is subjudice the court that no, uh, that is no, the reason no opinion uh, court will decide what what is right and what is wrong. Okay, there are many things which is to be read, not to divulge your energy in such things. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Pranam, sir. Who, sir?